With your look around the Air Force, I'm Staff Sergeant Benjamin Cooper. A B-52H Stratofortress made history off the coast of California with the first successful release of a hypersonic weapon. It's called the AGM-183A Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon, or ARRW. After separating from the aircraft, the weapon's boosters fired, reaching hypersonic speeds five times faster than the speed of sound. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Youngquist, 419th Flight Test Squadron Commander, says his highly skilled team is doing everything they can to get the game-changing weapon to warfighters as soon as possible. ARRW is designed to hold high-value, time-sensitive targets at risk from a distance. It should also expand precision strike capabilities with rapid response against heavily defended land targets. Eielson Air Force Base, Alaska is now home to a full fleet of F-35A fighter aircraft. The 354th Fighter Wing celebrated the arrival of their final jet, marking the end of a two-year bed-down process that brings two operational fighter squadrons online. With 54 permanently assigned F-35s, Alaska becomes a state with the highest concentration of the fifth-generation combat-coated aircraft. Colonel David Birkeland, 354th Commander, says the bed-down was accomplished at record speed, even with challenges like the pandemic and Arctic temperatures. The Air Force says the arrival of the final jet highlights Alaska's strategic location. Fighter jets from Eielson are able to reach anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere in one sortie. Former Secretary of the Air Force Barbara Barrett attended the unveiling of her official portrait at the Pentagon earlier this month. Current Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall spoke on Barrett's challenges and achievements while leading the Department of the Air Force from 2019 to 2021. He noted that Barrett was key in establishing and equipping the Space Force in 2019. He credited her with enabling modernization and focusing on enduring capabilities. That's your look around the Air Force.